Okay. This is Colonel Serene's hat. As you know, Colonel Serene is a colonel in the U.S. military. And this is a, not exactly a Jeep, but it's kind of a pickup truck slash Jeep. And Colonel Serene is driving it. And then behind it, we have got a horse. Now, that is a horse, but small versions of horses are known as ponies. So what have we got here? We've got a military person, a colonel, and they've got a fancy kind of Jeep truck thing, and a pony here. This is called a dog and pony show. And a dog and pony show is very famous in the military for impressing the brass, which are usually considered the generals. And what you do in a dog and pony show is you uh, show the general a bunch of things that they officially have to see, like an inspection of the unit to make sure the unit is actually fit and uh, is ready for action. And... There's also a lot of bullshitting that goes on. And there's also, from time to time, at a, at a dog and pony show, a showing of certain technological whiz-bang gadgets that the generals just love because they go back to the Department of Defense and they say, we like these particular whiz-bang gadgets and we want them. Or we evaluated them at a dog and pony show and we decided... You know, among three different um, whiz-bang gadgets, we want all three, but if you're only going to give us budget for two, then this is the ranking we're going to give you. First, we want this whiz-bang. Second and last, we're going to ask for the third one. So if we only get two out of the three, we want these two. A dog and pony show. What else can I tell you about a dog and pony show? Um... It's not only in the military that we have dog and pony shows. We have them in a family environments. When someone buys a new car, it's a dog and pony show. Because whenever they get the new car, the new owner wants to show everyone their new purchase. And a lot of people want to come and see the new thing because they just get so excited about usually extravagant spending. Um, sometimes it's unbelievably a wow, as if you come into like a, if you came into someone who was a very wealthy person uh, into their home and you went in and uh, it was just, it was like going to, I don't know, I can't give you an idea, but it's just a very wealthy person's home and you live in a regular average everyday apartment and you uh, go, wow, look at this place. It is designed for Queen Elizabeth of England and you've got all this stuff. Wow, it's a dog and pony show. And what is it really playing on? It's egoic needs... And it's, uh, it's what used to be called keeping up with the Joneses. In other words, Mr. Jones bought a new car, a new house. I've got to have what Mr. Jones has got. It has a lot to do with um, not only your, well, it's ego, because it's all about prestige which is a huge negative ego trait. Having prestige, having unbelievably more than the, the other people is a huge egoic thing. And in the end, 